Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about my 2023 modifications to my Jeep I call Sarge. As you can tell, I love driving my old Jeep. Whether in the back roads near my home, Tennessee Trail Jam in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, or just driving to go get some groceries. He's not just a mall crawler, but I used him for what he was intended to be, an off-roader. In my previous modifications video for Sarge, we discussed his setup. Sarge is a 1978 CJ5 Basic, narrow track with a rock solid 258 inline 6 with a Carter one barrel carburetor, rear AMC 20, and a front data 30 axle. I will link the build of Sarge in the description and the 2022 modifications there too. On to our story. Here are the modifications I made to Sarge over 2023. I love driving my old Jeep. But without a soft top, it's difficult in the wintertime. And when you have a convertible in the cold, you want to warm up. So I purchased the best top soft top for Sarge and installed it myself. This allows for me to have a full cover or remove the windows and or doors as it gets warmer. Even doom buggy mode. This does take some time to install and without the top being warmed up by the sun, it can be a struggle. Especially at the bow. If you're going to install a soft top, do it while the sun is out, or let it sit in the sun for several hours. I did it in the garage with my heater on, and it was still a pain. All in all, though, I love the new top, but I still have my bikini top for use in the summer, as I think it looks better that way. One of the previous owners had also disconnected the heater core, so with a new soft top in place, I was able to reconnect it, and boom, have heat. All Jeeps need the ability to be recovered, whether in the woods or in the mud, and all modern ones have recovery hooks in the front and rear. I decided I needed to add them to Sarge, but how? I purchased two Rhino shackle receiver hitches that I could have welded to the frame, and it's also lined up perfectly with the frame hole. Welded and bolted it to the frame. I then repainted the front bumper, and the shackles were black, so I painted them. I also added one to the receiver in the rear. Now Sarge has three recovery points that are attached to the frame. Awesome. Older motors don't have the automation that newer motors have. So I decided to have the valve cover gasket replaced as it was leaking and also had the valves examined while the cover was off. For being 45 years old, the 258 looked great. I also wrapped her line the valve cover in olive green. Kind of had to. It's kind of a thing. Sarge is not a sports car, but a lot of 258 engines have blow by, and that's due to his age. That means that oil leaches from the valve cover vent, and you end up losing some of the oil out of that process. I researched it and installed an Amazon catch can for blow by. It works pretty well, and even has a dipstick to check how much oil the can has. Some of you with a keen eye will notice that I have the end capped. The hose from the vent is plugged into the outlet. That was actually recommended by several folks off the CJ forum. This next one was one that was actually quite exciting for me. I had been looking for some Casey highlights for the front bumper, but in 2021 I was only able to source these Amazon yellow lights, which they look great. I mean, they worked very well, but I wanted to install the KC highlights. Um, it gives it a more of a, a the same look of the 70s and 80s that these Jeeps lived in. Uh, one of my Sumner County Jeep crew had some for sale, so I purchased them installed. Looks great and period correct with a little happy face. You might recall from the previous video that I had reinstalled carpet in the Sarge, but I didn't like the fact that it would get wet and possibly begin rusting my floor pans that I worked so hard for, right? So I decided to remove it, sand it down, the entire interior, and then roll black Raptor liner on the floorboards. I think it looks great. It's more durable, and to be honest, it just matches the Jeep. Um, with this rugged look. So, I love it. I went to Tennessee Trail Jam in June, link in the description, with my nephew, and while on the green trail, Sarge began running very poorly. Oh. 
That had been occurring all day. Turns out the trash in the gas tank had passed in the carburetor bowl. The gas tank was 45 years old. Sarge may have ran poorly, but he never left me in the woods, nor on the side of the road. He also completed the trail and a three hour trip back home. So we did a complete fuel system replacement. Removed and reinstalled the entire fuel system by replacing the gas tank, fuel lines, two new fuel filters, fuel pump, and rebuilt the Carter HF carburetor. He runs great now, and during my trip in the fall to Tennessee Fall Jam, he ran fantastic. But I noticed an issue with a second gear grinding. We'll talk about that shortly. I participate in a lot of parades, truck or treats, and car shows. I decided I wanted to install rock lights in the wheel wells to better show in those particular shows. I chose Oracle rock lights to install. The drilling was easy. I simply mounted them to the wheel wells, drilled a hole, and screwed them in and ran the wiring and attached it to the frame. Straightforward and easy to do. But to be honest, when you get done, the light shows are awesome. My favorite color to make him glow is green. As you can tell, it really sets him off at night. But the other awesome thing about these Oracle lights is the fact that I can also, using Apple Music, attach music to the Oracle lights and make it dance. <laughs> it's so cool. Really love this installation. I installed tailgate chains with cloth covers on the tailgate. I used bungee cords, which worked, but this looks much better to me. When AMC built the CJ5, it seems to me they never considered someone spinning tires and throwing rocks. Those rocks end up hitting the rear quarter panel and denting the body. I used my Jeep for what it's intended to be, an off-roader. So I want to see what I could do to resolve those issues and protect it. Sarge is not perfect. So do I want to go with mud flaps? No, I don't like the look. But I found a diamond-plated short corner for the rear panels. I installed rivets and really like the look, but it reinforces the rear quarter panels and the metal behind them and looks a lot better. And again, Sarge is not perfect, but I don't want him to be. And I like the look. Last but not least, the T-150 transmission. Sarge is 45 years old, as I've stated several times. He and I share a lot of problems. While my knees and back ache, his transmission is starting to show signs that the synchronizers are going bad. The gears are good, but the synchronizer is having problems. He still goes great, and the gears stay in place, but it's time for a rebuild. That is scheduled for mid-January, along with the clutch replacement. The clutch is in fair shape, but while the transmission is out, you might as well replace it. This has been another fantastic year with the Jeep I call Sarge. I'm in this for the long run with Sarge. I plan to go to Jeep Invasion 2024 next year, along with numerous other trail rides. I love driving them in his shows. Antique vehicles cost a lot to maintain, to keep them on the road, but most of those vehicles don't get the stress that I put on Sarge. He's a tough cookie, and most definitely a keeper. If you have questions, drop me a line, and I'll answer if I can. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe.